Hello, Rutgers School of Public Health, class of 2020, and congratulations. I want to thank Dean Halkidis for the privilege of being invited to speak, for his incredible leadership here at Rutgers School of Public Health, especially during this unprecedented time, and for the honor of being the recipient of the Frank R. Lautenberg Award. I am particularly honored because Frank Lautenberg actually happened to be a dear family friend who even took the time to visit us when Phil was the ambassador to Germany. To all of today's graduates, I know that this is not how any of you imagined this special day would be. The time-honored traditions of a graduation march, wearing a cap and gown, and walking across the stage to receive your diploma with your loved ones present are all important symbols of achievement well earned by your years of hard work and study. Likewise, to all of the parents, grandparents, and mentors that guided these remarkable graduates on their way, a virtual graduation ceremony is not how you plan to celebrate this incredible milestone either. But in these unprecedented times, we are finding new ways to do a lot of things. And while you may be at home gathered around a screen, I guarantee that today is a day you will never forget. Not because of its spectacle, not because of the fancy restaurant you went to after the ceremony, and not because you accomplished the impossible feat of tossing your graduation cap in the air and magically catching it on its way down, but because today marks your entrance into an unprecedented global fight to save lives. It can come as no surprise that this is not the speech I was planning to deliver. When I received word that I was being honored with the Frank R. Lautenberg Award, I looked forward to sharing with you our initiative to combat New Jersey's maternal and infant health crisis, Nurture New Jersey. As I am sure today's graduates are aware, according to America's health rankings, New Jersey ranks 47th in the nation for maternal deaths. Yes, 47th out of 50. For women and babies of color, the statistics are even more dire. A black mother in New Jersey is nearly five times more likely than a white mother to die from pregnancy-related complications. And a black baby is three times more likely than a white baby to die before his or her first birthday. This is what I wanted to discuss with you today. I wanted to share with you my full confidence that the Rutgers School of Public Health class of 2020 graduates will be allies to New Jersey's mothers and babies. I wanted to convey not just the seriousness of our maternal and infant health crisis, but the role each of you can play in its resolution as you move on to the next exciting chapter of your lives. As Nurture New Jersey moves forward with its strategic plan to reduce New Jersey's mortality rate by 50% over five years and to completely eliminate the racial inequities in birth outcomes, I am thrilled to count you as competent and dedicated partners who as graduates of Rutgers School of Public Health will hit the ground running with an understanding of the complexities of the problem and a desire to fix it. But our current circumstances are equally urgent and will also require the leadership of public health professionals. As I said, this is not the speech I plan to give. But as we are all learning, no matter how carefully we plan, life can bring many things we do not expect. On March 4th of this year, my husband underwent surgery to remove a cancerous tumor on his kidney. And while we did not see it coming, we felt incredibly fortunate that Phil's doctors caught it early. I felt certain that no matter the obstacle, our family would rally together and persevere, but the support we received from our community also kept us going. As you graduate, remember that your communities of support have helped you reach this milestone and are to be cherished and valued. After his surgery, Phil recovered at home, regained his strength, and when we are safely through this pandemic, he will be the first to sign up for the next 5K race. I know that this is all possible because of the work of his incredible healthcare providers. And every single one of you has the potential to change the course of not just one individual's life, but an entire population's. As a public health professional, you will be part of the teams that design the plan of action in a health crisis, that examine patterns and identify solutions. If that weren't enough, you are entering this field during a pandemic in a state that is a hotspot. For some of you, 
This is perhaps the exact event that you have been studying and preparing for. For some time now, our healthcare professionals have been on the front lines of this crisis, saving countless lives. And for the first time, maybe ever, our nation is beginning to understand that those who pursue careers in healthcare are not just particularly intelligent, interested in science and health, and dedicated enough to accomplish the years of study, they are called to a higher purpose. That is the only way I can explain the selflessness and bravery of the women and men serving in healthcare these last two months. But even those heroes need a strategy and someone to devise and guide it. And it seems that beyond developing a pathway to victory, we will also need you to lead the debate on the price we are willing to pay to return to business as usual. What is the value of a human life? How can we as a society thrive? How can we measure the impact of our work on the health of the public? These are questions that are now being asked out in the open, questions that the world is waiting for you to help us answer. There is no denying that facing this pandemic is scary, but there is a reason you chose the field of public health, and I am certain that a big part of that reason was to be of service to others. Today, the story of each and every one of you begins with that call to service and we have never needed you more. Today may not be the graduation day you expected, and there will very likely be many more surprises down the road. But one of the greatest lessons life teaches us is how to respond when things don't go as planned. In fact, I would say resilience is probably one of the best traits a public health professional could possess. The governor and I want to offer you our congratulations and heartfelt best wishes for the success you so deserve. But more than that, we wanna thank you. When we get through this crisis, and we will, it will be because of the leadership of the public health community and others just like you who understand the many complex ways public health touches our lives. From infant and maternal health to infectious de diseases and everything in between, we are depending on you. I wanna leave you with these words by President Theodore Roosevelt. And I quote, do what you can, where you are, with what you have. So good luck, no pressure, congratulations, and God bless. Thank you.